Hey everyone at Burrell, uh, my name is Bilal Karim and today I wanted to share a very important piece of my art with you. So the reason that I chose to share this painting with you all is because it represents the time in my life where my decision to go into medicine became personal. It was no longer just the result of uh, academic interest. Quick disclaimer, um, my main painting style when it comes to portraits consists of really rough features. I don't like sticking to uh, the purest form of the subject. Uh, I like taking contours and distorting them and not making them necessarily true to their form. So I had made this painting during my senior year of high school after an event took place where five of my best friends decided to take a road trip that I was supposed to go on also, but it ended in a nearly fatal car crash where my best friend who was sitting in the back was ejected from the vehicle and ended up with a broken C2 vertebrae, a collapsed lung, and abrasions all up and down his body. Now the good news is that five years later, physiologically speaking, he is a perfectly normal, healthy 23-year-old adult. But the kicker is that emotionally and mentally after the accident, he was never really the same. At the time of the accident, he declined any sort of mental health treatment option that would have helped him cope with the entire process. And in my scenario, I always felt that I was too close to the situation to help him in the way that I felt he needed, but I always thought that maybe somewhere down the line, I would be able to help out people like him. And I often think about where he would be now in terms of a mental state had he elected to see a psychiatrist or any sort of therapist in a mental health profession. But to this day, he still shares a mindset with an unfortunate number of people where he views seeking mental health treatment as a sign of weakness. So now that you have all of that background information, um, this is the self-portrait that I made and it was actually inspired by my friend's mother who told me that while he was in the hospital, I had an expression on my face that she had never even seen before. Uh, and I ended up deciding to make this self-portrait to assess and figure out what that expression exactly was because I didn't see what she was talking about. So now, today that I figured it out, I use it as sort of a template or a baseline to assess my stress or anxiety levels and I know that if I'm getting to that point, I need to just sit back and create art for a little while. Well, that's it on my end. Uh, I really want to thank the admissions committee for making the video process part of the application. Uh, I've certainly never done anything like this for a medical school application. Um, so I wanna thank you again for listening to my story and I hope it's generated some questions for the admissions committee that I hopefully uh, look forward to answering soon in an interview setting.